good news. We have an incredibly well-conducted research study by Regeneron Pharmaceuticals from their pre-stage one clinical trials. These are done on non-human primates, little teeny monkeys. Ah, ah. You know, like the outbreaks. I remember outbreak that movie from the 90s. Oh, well, dumbass monkeys yeah, bit everyone. Creepy. That's super creepy, right? Monkeys are, I don't know monkeys at all. But if they're going to be given advanced anabolic drugs, I love monkeys. Monkeys, they're all family to me. It just I don't look them in the eye because I'll throw a poop at you or whatever the hell. Non-human primates, which means there's very small monkeys. So the amount of muscle gain and fat loss they're experiencing is measured in the grams and not in the kilograms. They're teeny, teeny, tiny. It's easier to do teeny, teeny, tiny because they experience rapid changes and it's easier to monitor them. And, uh, you know, it, I guess they did. They did put them to sleep and shove them in a DEXA, which uh, is quite impressive. So here's the deal. We have four groups of monkeys getting four different treatments. One group of monkeys had to diet. They restricted their calories a little bit, and they dieted natty. These are natty monkeys, right? They're monkeys that go on forums and talk about everyone's a drug addict, and they accuse everyone of taking drugs. Cope. Then there are monkeys that received semaglutide, a.k.a. Ozempic which is a drug that is a modern weight loss drug, mostly works by reducing your appetite. Another group of monkeys, group three, received only the myostatin blocker drug. Okay? And then group four received the myostatin blocker drug and the activin A blocker drug, that real dual therapy, that tip of the spear, 